Bitcoin halving price prediction May 2020. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to be sharing with you everything that you need to know about Bitcoin halving, what Bitcoin halving is, how it's going to affect the price, when will it happen. I'm going to explain to you everything and more importantly, I'll do a price prediction. We'll look at what's happened in the history in previous halvings to the prices and what we can expect in the future. So guys, uh, let's get into the video. So what is Bitcoin halving? So Bitcoin halving guys is a protocol, a Bitcoin protocol cuts the Bitcoin block reward in half every time a Bitcoin halving occurs, miners begin receiving 50% your BTC so this is a great thing for Bitcoin and one of the reasons why I like Bitcoin so much so if you know fiat currency so the dollar uh, the Federal Reserve controls it and anytime they want they can print money so you know what's going on with the lockdown and what's going on in the, with the world every government is printing money like it's nothing and the value of money is going down we have inflationary problems and and that is why you know people say it's unethical and there could be an issue i'm not going to get too much into what's going on in the world with oil and dollar but the, it's not looking great this is this is crazy times that we're living in with traders i mean i've been doing it for six years but even traders who are 60 70 years old doing it for 40 years they, they're still confused with what's going on so bitcoin can play a big part in it so we'll have to see how it plays a part but this is really good that bitcoin halving is actually deflationary and you can't just print more bitcoins so when bitcoin was first designed it wasn't clear whether it would be adopted in the first place or not by fixing the supply prospective investors were incentivized to acquire bitcoin before it runs out finally some was some way was needed to distribute the currency miners will initially use the computational power to distribute bitcoin after all the coins have been mined transaction fees could take over to secure bitcoin's tokenomics and i recommend you guys look into tokenomics if you're interested in well before investing in any altcoin tokenomics is very very important and i personally think bitcoin tokenomics is really good so the bitcoin cap is 21 million cap ensures that bitcoin is deflationary asset as opposed to an inflationary one so at, at core this is the main concept of bitcoin and this is why we like bitcoin so much i'm not going to get too much into the cryptography i recommend you guys look into it uh, before going any further i want to just make uh, recommend uh, make a point that the halving it doesn't happen in, in an exact date few people say that it will be on the 18th of may some quotes it will be ha it will be happening on the 12th of May uh, the exact date isn't confirmed so it will be around that time mid May to middle of May so make sure guys if you haven't already subscribed subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button whether bitcoin price goes up or down i'll explain to you in the meantime in the short term you can be trading it to make money so make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button although bitcoin hasn't been uh, going down and ha bitcoin has been going down and sideways i've been trading using my strategy the scalping strategy to make money that's the most important thing making money whether bitcoin goes up or down so you can learn trading and learn how to go whether it goes up and i'll talk about it at the end of the video but i'll leave the links below if you're interested there's also a course on how to do it as well so uh, going back to what i was explaining to you about halving hopefully you guys uh, have done your research in this and not not just investing in bitcoin uh, or if you have invested a little please invest uh, learn a lot more before investing more so i want to talk a bit about supply and demand and th this could make you like bitcoin even more so the simple uh, scenario is when the supply is high the demand is low it causes decrease in demand when the supply is low and the demand is high the price goes up so back in 2017 there was huge demand for bitcoin people were just finding out about this new internet money and fomoing in causing the price to go up and th that's something that we would like to see in the future so bitcoin miners are incentivized uh, to mine so that they get bitcoin so bitcoin reward started at 50 btc per block then in 2012 in the first halving i'll talk about how it affected the price in a bit the price went down to 25 btc and in 2016 the second halving uh, the mining reward went down to 12 and a half btc and this uh, halving that's coming up the uh, the price will go the, the reward will go down to 625 btc so that is a, a, a miners incentive the price will need to go up for them to you know keep wanting to uh, mine bitcoin 
or when when all the Bitcoin have, mi have been mined, the transaction uh, fee will have to be uh, enough to compensate the miners. So that is something that we need to consider. While the transaction fees are minuscule compared to block rewards between 2017, uh, 17, uh, December and January 2018 at one point, the transaction fees were very, very high. So that is a, probably not the most positive thing for BTC, uh, if, especially if we think of it as a transfer of value or of fiat money i don't think bitcoin is more of a currency i think it's more of a store of value so again a lot can happen in the future and i'll talk about all of that in the future videos so what will happen when bitcoin halves so first is mining stability first point to look into while judging the impact of halving is the mining stability of the system as we have already stated miners play a crucial role in bitcoin's ecosystem along with mining new blocks and aiding transactions miners are also responsible for overall network upkeep this is where we need to talk about hash rate hash rate is a term used to describe the computational ability of the network higher hash rate more speed and secure so if miners suddenly decide to leave the network then the following may happen the network could get clogged up powerful mining cartel can use superior hash rates so these are some negatives I, I always talk about positives and negatives and bitcoin is a risk investment you know there might be people saying buy bitcoin buy xrp you know I, i'm more of a trader I, I am invested in bitcoin and it will affect me more than probably anyone if bitcoin goes down but that is a reality that can happen so what happened so first look at the hash rate within two weeks the hash rate of the network fell from 27.61 to 19.98 hash rate however after that the hash rate steadily steadily rose uh, in 2016 halving the hash rate fell from 1.56 to 1.4 to uh, 40 however it eventually increased so how can bitcoin miners stay profitable can op uh, they can get better efficient hardware or they can move mining uh, operations to colder regions we've we've heard of russia mongolia where uh, they, they can use that they don't have to keep their hardware cool it's naturally colder areas so bitcoin price again i'll probably do my own analysis on it but you can see on the halving day and the price afterwards it, it had gone up i'll share with you my exact strategy on how i'm looking to do it so will the bitcoin price change so i think there will be a bitcoin price change so a few things that can affect is miners may sell off their block rewards instead of holding on to it when the market is up bitcoin now has futures trading so future traders don't require actual bitcoin this makes the volume of btc mined a lot less so this is a very very key point uh, you need to remember that futures trading you're not actually trying you don't actually owning bitcoin you're owning a contract the amount of btc mined uh, is minuscule compared to the total volume traded back in 2020 2012 and 16 the ratio wasn't as skewed however millions of bitcoins are traded daily so even a block reward reduces from 12 and a half to 625 it won't make much of a difference so this is very difficult to determine i think there can be a sell-off or the volume traded can have an effect so bitcoin halving is a is a very important part of the protocol on how bitcoin works and it is essential to you know the ideology of decentralization opposite to fiat currency which you know satoshi nakamoto the elusive leader uh, of bitcoin uh, it just uh, where you know the fiat currency is centrally controlled and uh, and inflationary by nature whereas bitcoin is deflationary by nature so it is a quite a big event that's happening if you're invested in bitcoin i'm going to go through uh, this quickly as well that was a detailed explanation so i'm going to summarize my thoughts on on btc so we talked about the the coins per block going into 6.25 why was this done i've talked about you know deflationary currency and it's very it's a i personally think is a key part of uh, a currency or, or the internet money that that we like a simple example would be comparing to house prices decade ago to now you'll notice they've increased over time so predictable monetary supply bitcoin inflation versus time who controls the issuance of bitcoin miners and and bitcoin participants so you know we already know how much bitcoin there is and the target time and the reward uh, it will you know bitcoin reward which starts at 50 will eventually uh, get to zero uh, at some point people uh, predicting 2140 i want to quickly share with you this chart 
where you can see the expected halving some people are saying it could be up to 2028 uh, so this is a bitcoin halving chart if you know the mining happens this these these could be the future dates when uh, the mining happens approximately uh, four years uh, every four years so past halving dates past halving price uh, uh, price um, price predictions of how it was affected by price and these are some of the stats you can check out yourself so let's come to the juicy bit so i know people are here, uh, probably here for for this video so i want to i want to share with you the price prediction i think most people are watching because of that so let's go back to what happened uh, so first of all let's have a look at it from a high time frame we can see that bitcoin price has gone up last time it went up about eight thousand percent and in 2016 it went about 3000 percent so could we expect the price to have a huge rally i do think long-term bitcoin will go up massively and i don't want to say crazy numbers but you know i'm happy to hodl it to a lot higher so that's my first i'm a massive bitcoin fan and i could be wrong bitcoin could collapse we've seen it with oil the way oil dumps so anything can happen so don't just think it don't sell your house and buy bitcoin so if we go on to the weekly time frame, this is where I'll probably do most of my analysis. I will go on to the shorter time frame, but I'll probably make another video uh, for that. So the first Bitcoin halving that happened, Bitcoin price actually dipped afterwards. And I think it can uh, be a sell the rumor event. So you can see it dumped probably about 11%, which I mean, if you can't even call that a dump, can you nowadays in the way even stock market are moving? And then, like I said, Bitcoin had a huge rally something similar happened here it was a bit more of a a dump uh, i would say back um in 2016 it dumped about 30 percent 32 percent then we had that huge rally and then we had the bear market and i think this is something that can happen uh, now um the, uh, i'm expecting a potential dump in bitcoin i'm not sure exactly where i've actually bought quite a bit of bitcoin in this dump uh, if you're part of the group or you've watched the videos i've shared a elliott wave count as well i'm not, I've not just you know leveraged it this is more spot so i'm not gonna i'm not it's not trading this is more about long-term money investment i have got some and we'll have to see how this play out this could easily be wrong but i bought some back in back at 4000 i was down quite a lot at one point i was down 25 percent and it turned out to be one of my best buys and i've risked it again and if it dumps back below i'll look to buy 4000 3000 again if it does give me it but i am at the current moment um i'll share with you uh, what i'm looking at i think potentially uh, we could be having a little bit of a dump in Bitcoin uh, going down, especially sell the rumors event. We could rally a bit higher, but I think we could uh, potentially move down. And that is sort of what my thoughts are. And again, this is not training is not one prediction that happens. My job is to make money. Uh, I took a short and I'll share with you exactly where I took the short in Ethereum uh, the other day. And then I'll share with you exactly when I was looking to take profit. I didn't huddle for it. You can see I exited half of Ethereum in profit and i'm trailing it and then i went long i said i shared exact levels uh, check out the group if you're interested of where i look to scalp these are just simple scalp trades that you can make money and there's other people taking using the course so there's a unit section which you can use to learn how i do it so that is how i'm trading it and if bitcoin in the moment gets back above here 6980 uh, you could take a scalp to maybe 7100 7200 if it gets back above 7200 guys i think we can have a rally into the bitcoin halving event before a potential little dump like it's happened in the past long term i'm massively bullish but that is how i'm expecting potentially to for bitcoin to play out I'll keep you guys up to date you know things might change new information might come out as of now that is what i'm looking at and either way guys let's scalp you know have a strategy my strategy is quite simple it's a simple pullback uh, to moving average strategy which you can learn or use and other people i say use my strategy to make it their own uh, trading is hard but if you put the work in again i'm not going to say join my group you'll make a million but if you join the group work on a strategy uh, you can definitely make money i'll leave the links below at the moment it is less than 20 pounds for this month uh, so there's seven days left if you're interested as i add courses the price will go up like my previous group that i had run so check that out if you're interested if not guys all my request uh, only request is leave a smash uh, leave a like 
and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button i do do a few free live streams on youtube as well so make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button to stay up to date i'll i'll keep you guys up to date with what's happening with halving and this will affect every coin whether you like xrp ada chain link they'll all be affected and you can be trading them as well tezos has been my my main trade i'm looking at link as well i'll probably make a video on link if, if that breaks out uh, it will depend a lot on what bitcoin and ethereum are doing so anyways thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it to end the video my question to you to you guys is what is your thoughts on bitcoin do you think bitcoin is going to rally into the halving do you think it will go down comment below and let's have a discussion so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you very much.